Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm doing a video and showing you all the differences between the Evo 10 GSR and the Evo 10 MR. So I have two of my friends' cars here. This is Josh's Evo 10 and Jamie's Evo 10 MR. I'll put both their Instagrams below so you can check out their cars a bit more. But I want to basically run through all the differences between these two. Um, this is in Australia, so Australian models. They might be different in other countries. But there's quite a few little subtle differences that not many people have realized. Uh, when I was trying to research into this video, there's quite a few things that I found that I didn't know they had. So yeah, let's get into the video and I'll show you exactly all the differences that I can name at least. All right guys, so we'll start off with the exteriors and specifically the front. So come over to the MR. At the front here, you'll notice the chrome strip around the mesh area. So this is chrome here and with a silver nose piece here. Whereas on the GSR, it's all black. So you've got black trim around here with the black nose piece. Um, on the GSR also, as it's manual, um, this fog light area is actually blocked off. There's no air going through. On the other side, it's opened up. You can see that. Whereas on the MR, being that it has the SST and the SST cooler, um, it actually has open mesh here to allow air to go into the SST cooler, which is back behind here. And on the MR here, we have the HID projector headlights um, with the headlight washer. So I'm not sure if the headlight washer is available, uh, is a requirement in all countries, but in Australia, any HOD projector headlights must have the headlight washer. Whereas on the GSR, just have the standard halogen headlights. So pair those. Um, the bonnet vents on the MR are color matched. So they look great on the black. These are color matched in phantom black. Whereas on the GSR, they are just a satin black type finish. So if you have a blue or a white or any other color MR, these will be that color. They're not always black, obviously, just this is black as the car is phantom black. Um, we'll come around to the sides here. And also, as well as the chrome trim at the front, you have the chrome trim around the windows on the MR and the same for the GSR, it is just all black, same as the front. I'll go to the brakes. So the brakes on the MR are a two-piece rotor, which is slightly lighter to even out the weight differences as the MR is obviously heavier with the SST. On the GSR, it's a one-piece rotor, so slightly heavier. Both have Brembo's all round, same calipers and everything but yeah just the front rotors are two piece compared to one piece um, the wheels now obviously both these cars have aftermarket wheels but on the MR it will come with the BBS forged wheels GSI will have the cast Enkies both are in 18 by eight and a half uh, in the same offset and also this one here is also color matched if you have the MR um, obviously on the GSR over here we have a carbon fiber aftermarket one. But yeah, so this one will be painted the color of your car if you have the MR. Whereas on the GSR it will just be black, the same as the front fence. Uh, I'll come around to the back. It's basically the same. On the MR you have the MR badge. Both have the wing in Australia, so I know in America some MRs don't come with the wing. In Australia they do. So both have the wing and the owner of this one Josh has just got a GSR badge in the back which makes it easier to differentiate. Um, now normally in Australia the GSR doesn't come with reverse camera and the head unit but this one actually has it so the reverse camera is there in the middle of the boot. Being that this is an early MR, it actually doesn't have that optioned, um, but normally they would have the uh, reverse camera in the same spot. 
So that's about it for exterior for now. I'm sure I've forgotten a couple of things. But we'll go to the interior now, show you the differences. In okay, so moving on to the interior, come over to the MR. Obviously the main thing that everyone's going to know straight away is the SST transmission. So you'll have the paddles and the twin clutch SST. So no clutch pedal down there. Come over to the GSR. Obviously, manual shifter. Got our clutch down there. Um, now, being that this one is a later model GSR, it's actually quite highly optioned. So normally on the early GSRs, you don't get these leather Recaros. You still get the Recaros, but it's cloth. So that's actually what my car has. Um, it'll be cloth. Um, gearbox, uh, sorry, glove box cover, center console cover. Um, so this one, yeah, highly optioned, has the leather, has heated seats. Those are normally the MR standard options. Um, this one also being a later model GSR, it has a touchscreen head unit. I don't know if it's an option or it was just came because this is a later model, um, but it doesn't have the Rockford Fosgate sound. So no Rockford tweeters on the side here. As we come back to the MR, you'll see we have these Rockford Fosgate uh, tweeters. So this one has the Rockford Fosgate screen, so the Mitsubishi multi-communication system. A little bit more advanced feature-wise than the one in the GSR, but both do have the screen. If I was comparing a 2008 MR to 2008 GSR, you would have no screen at all here, um, which is what mine came with. Um, yeah, so MR's nicer interior from factory. Uh, so yeah, obviously the leather Recaros, but yeah, both GSRs have that. Um, and yeah, heated, so the GSR will generally not have heated. Um, another MR feature is these scuff plates, it's a Lancer Evolution. Now the GSR in the video actually has those optioned as well. Um, and one main difference in here as well will be this little button here is for the HOD headlight washers. So the GSR not having HODs, it won't have that. And you can see this blank button here, which a previous owner used to put their um, charger through which will be filled. That's normally a blank button on the MR. Coming back over to the GSR, see that that is a button here and it is the intercooler sprayer. So my car also have, has this being that it's a GSR, but um, so you've got manual and auto. So you can manually hold that down and you'll get water sprayed onto your front end intercooler put in auto and when it reaches certain parameters it'll spray a bit of water usually it doesn't really spray anything unless you press manual um, so other than that the interior is very similar now this has the um, the cubbies here whatever you like to call them little storage containers but that can also be optioned on the 2008 models as well but yeah this one has those in a gloss black whereas in the MI it's just open you can store a little bit more stuff you don't have the two drawers there but this looks a bit neater so I think that's about it for the interior here's the option scuff plates I was talking about which are standard on the MR in Australia uh, they were optioned into this car so yeah that's gonna be about it for the interior and last thing for the interior which I nearly forgot was in the MR you'll have the Rockford Fosgate sub in the boot um, the GSR won't have that as it's just a Rockford Fosgate feature. So if it has been optioned with the Rockford Fosgate, which you can't do in Australia, maybe other countries can, then you might have this sub. But in Australia, yeah, that's going to be an MR only. Okay, as we come towards the engine bays, there's not much there, but a couple of things I did forget. Um, in the MR, you'll have an extra 13 pounds of sound insulation. So sound deadening material. Um, and also the shocks. Um, on the MR, they'll be IBAX. On the GSR, they'll be KYBs. So if we come over to the engine bays, basically the only difference is going to be this. This may be an Australia, Australia only thing, but in Australia, the MRs have the headlamp washer fluid. So that's this bottle here for these headlight washers. So you just have that little piece. MR is uh, the GSR sorry is blank so that's actually where I mounted my catch can so it wouldn't work on the MR in Australia as you have that bottle there so yeah otherwise basically the same 
Alright guys, so I believe that is everything that I had written down that I could find out. Um, the main things obviously being the 5-speed manual in the GSR, 6-speed dual clutch auto in the MR, um, and then just little extra luxury features. Obviously it was harder to show with these two cars being that this later model GSR had leather, um, had the screen, heated seats, a few extra things optioned that an earlier GSR won't have. But yeah, still main things will be extra luxury features in the MR, the transmission, um, the front brake rotors being a two-piece, the coilovers, the factory suspension being different brands, and a 13, 13 pounds extra of sound insulation material in the MR. So that is everything I could find. There may be a few things I've missed. There's probably a few things I missed even off my list that I wrote up. But it's everything that I had written down that I can remember off the top of my head. So hope you guys enjoyed and found the video helpful. You would have seen both of these cars on my channel before and there will be more. So keep an eye out for future videos on my car, the T-shirts rally art and these two as well. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. So I did hope you enjoy. If you did, feel free to like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Evo 10 and Rally Art content. And I will catch you next time.